Hey, what's going on YouTube and welcome back to another video. Uh, in this video on Cinema 4D, uh, I, I will cover three tools that kind of work, you know, um, together with each other, but not like your main tools. They're more like, uh, you know, help you create more edges or connect points or the, the main one that I will show you is to dissolve your edges. You know, sometimes, for example, if you want to, you know, using your loop cut tool, uh, create a few cuts in your mesh. And then, you know, you want to do something custom and you want to delete an edge. It's really nice to know how to dissolve your edge, which is MN, that's the shortcut. And then from there, you can, you know, highlight your face, for example, and start extruding and so on. And, uh, you know, these three tools that I'll show you today, which is edge cut, uh, connect points, and dissolve, kind of work with each other. And, uh, you know, you don't use them all the time. But sometimes when you're extruding and you're extruding and uh, creating new edges, points, and faces, you do need to know these three tools to, uh, you know, sometimes fix your mesh or edit your mesh or add something custom and so on. So let me just show you what they do. Uh, so you have that, you know, that workflow and you know how to use them. And then from there, you know, whatever you're creating, you can just use the tool or not use the tool and decide for yourself. So anyway, the first one is the edge cut and uh, it's really basic. So let me just, you know, select a few edges here, go my edge mode and select these two edges here. And uh, as you can see, this tool, the edge cut only works in edge uh, mode. If you are in your face mode or points mode, it will not work. So make sure you stay in your edge mode. And what it does, it pretty much adds points to your edges. Uh, so right now, if I go to point mode, I only have four points around these four edges. So let me go back into my um, edge mode and click on my edge cut tool. And uh, the shortcut is MF. And what you do is click once and it will add uh, as many subdivisions as you want to your edges. So as you can see in my um, scale in my subdivision, I had three. And right now you can't really see the subdivisions or the cuts in your edges. So what you have to do is uh, go back to your points mode. And now as you can see, we have the points created here. So this is really useful. Sometimes you want to add subdivisions to your edges and you want to be precise. So this tool right here, the edge cut is really precise and you can specify how many point uh, subdivisions you want and so on and play around with the offset. So let me just do it one more time. I'm going to delete or undo all these changes. Go back into my edge mode, select for example these four edges and go back into my uh, edge cut and I'll change the subdivisions to one to get a uh, nice four cuts around my edges and just click once and then from there go on my point mode as you can see I have my four different cuts or points created around my edges and it's exactly 50% from each other and uh, from here I can introduce my other tool or the second tool uh, right next to it the connect edges uh, this one also works in the in the edge mode only. So let me just go back into my edge mode. Well, I think it works in the point mode as well. So I get, I guess points and edges. So what you can do is really basic. You can select your two uh, points and just click and it will connect those two points. That's really easy. Uh, but sometimes when you have something like this, uh, these two points, for example, and you try to connect them, it doesn't work. Uh, so that's why I said these, uh, the edge cut and the connect points work together. So if I go back to my edge mode and select this edge that I just created and cut it just once, just click, go back to my uh, point mode. And now I can finally connect these two edges by using this tool. So connect points, click once, and then select these two points, click again. And there you go. You can connect your points that way. So these two tools, like I said, uh, edge cut and connect points edges, uh, works really good. So just experiment and uh, you know cut your edges and so on. Most of the time I use the knife tool to uh, do my cutting. So if I go back to my knife and cut like this, as you can see it does, it does the job faster but it's not accurate. I don't really know if it's at exactly 50% from, um, from my other points. Uh, so the edge cut tool is uh, more precise uh, in that matter. So just keep that in mind. And also the, you know, the edges, connect edges instead of points, works the same way. So if I select two edges here, 
and click uh, connect edges it will do the same thing as I did with points uh, but let me try with these two edges and see what happens yeah as you can see it's not gonna work so what you have to do is select these uh, these two edges first and uh, connect them and then select the other two or three edges and uh, connect them as well but see it does kind of weird job here so I don't know how would you connect them all at the same time it's really kind of weird let me just try again so if I can select all these three point uh, three edges yeah sometimes it's really you know funky sometimes and you have to really play around uh, when you have something like this obviously the loop cut tool will be much easier so let me just deselect go my loop cut and from here let's see I have something else selected. Well, I have my I just cut up. That's why it's not working. Uh, and this, yeah, I have way too many subdivisions. So let me just undo, undo all this. But yeah, sometimes you have to play around and just pick a tool for a job. You know, if, if this one's not working, you can go back to your loop loop cut tool, as you can see here. Or if the other one's not working, you can go back to your cut edges and points and connect points and edges and so on. Uh, so just play around. And uh, you know everybody uses their own. Everybody has their own little tools for modeling. Uh, there's no one way to do things. So just experiment and uh, see what you can do. So let me try to connect these edges here. And as you can see, it does a wonderful job here, and it gives us connection uh, right in the middle of the two edges, and it's perfectly uh, symmetrical. Uh, so this is really useful and nice. And uh, the last tool I want to show you that's really important. You're going to be using a lot is dissolving. And the shortcut for dissolving is MN. Uh, so when you have any kind of extra points, edges, or faces, and you don't want them to be there, all you have to do is highlight them. You know, click once with your selection tool, and then click MN. Oops, let me just do that again. MN, and you can dissolve those edges, as you can see, by clicking MN, or clicking this button here if you don't like shortcuts. So if I click on this edge here, I can dissolve it and you can see it dissolves the edge all the way and it's really useful when you have a complex geometry so when you have a whole bunch of cuts you know just like this and then you decide to uh, maybe get rid of this edge here and make a hole so you can just highlight this edge click on then dissolve it go back to your face mode select it uh, delete it and then what you can do is select all your edges around it so maybe like these four Maybe all the way around, and then you can extrude it backwards. And as you can see, we have this perfect hole. And then we can just patch it up using the uh, connect. Uh, what is a close polygon hole? And there you go. We have a perfect hole in our geometry, which is really useful. I mean, there's all kinds of things you can do, but this is just one of them. Sometimes you really have, you know, you add it to your subdivision surface, your your mesh, and then. You see that you have all kinds of weird uh, imperfections. You know, it's giving you all kinds of weird uh, breaks in your mesh. Uh, you can go back, double check, and you find an extra edge, an extra point somewhere. So you can always dissolve it. Like, you know, just click MN, MN, MN. And as you can see, it dissolves all your unwanted points. And then from there, you can use the knife tool to connect points. So there's a whole bunch of things you can do, as you can see. And there you go, I got my geometry back by connecting all the other points. So anyway guys, that's about it for this video. These three tools come in handy, you know, sometimes, not all the time. Uh, so just keep in mind, the edge cut tool only works in edge mode. So you can cut up your edges uh, symmetrical, symmetrically. And you have a few different options like the offset and the subdivision count. Uh, then you have your connect edges and points real easy just select two edges and click connect and it will connect your edges uh, but make sure your geometry is clean sometimes you know I made a lot of uh, cuts and you know modifications here so it's not really working as I wanted to but for example if I click these two it should it should work yeah as you can see you give me a perfect connection in the middle and the last one is MN or Dissolve tool. It just gets rid of your faces, points, or uh, edges. So you just click MN, MN, same thing in the uh, face mode, MN. And you can dissolve 
or delete your faces and so on. So these come in handy. These three tools really come in handy. You're not gonna use them all the time, uh, but this this will help you modeling and uh, get the shape you want out of your mesh. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Uh, hopefully this video helped you. Please subscribe, leave it a like, and uh, as always, have a nice day, and I'll see you in my next video, guys. Uh, bye.